Hi, this is a fuel quantity test unit for aircraft. And if you are watching this video, I am sure you know far more about what's going on than I do. And the reason I am selling this is that a neighbor um, who knew I was an airline pilot had her husband die. And he was a retired avionics guy and um, got old and died. And she asked me to sell it for her um, as, a, as a favor, um, thinking that I would know something about it, which I don't. So I'm doing my best here. I'm putting it on eBay. And I thought I'd make this video to show you a little bit about it. Um, first of all, let's just look at the cosmetics of it. It's uh, an old box, but as far as I can tell, it's almost like it hasn't been touched by human hands. It had a little layer of dust on it when I first got it, and I, um, I brushed it off, but that's all I've done. So um, there are no scratches or dents on this um, case at all um, that I can see anyway. Um, it's, uh, it's completely um, clean and scratch-free. Um, so um, it's, it's beautiful. Further, there's little um, nubs that it sits on, and those aren't even worn at all. And the bottom of the case, those little four little round nubs hardly have any paint even missing. So um, that leads me to believe this hasn't been used very much. Um, so uh, let me just take you through it some more. Uh, I'm going to take this whole video in one take, if possible, just so it doesn't look like I'm trying to deceive anybody by clipping things together. Plus, I don't really know how to do it. Okay, so there's the unit. Um, it's turned on and warmed up. And so, uh, but first let me just take you through um, the accessories, and then I'll show you the operation of the panel. So again, um, everything's perfectly clean. Um, the first thing that I came across was the manual for the unit. And uh, it's written in sort of a typewritten thing. It's got lots and lots of instructions and operations stuff and lists of components in it, along with lots of um, foldouts that have information that I cannot understand. So um, that was part of it. Um, it has a, a number associated with it. I'm sure that this is downloadable somewhere. Um, so uh, if you're an expert in this, you know about it. It also came with this uh, certificate dated a long, long time ago. Um, probably of no value, but um, at least it shows that this guy kept all of his paperwork together. Uh, the next thing in there are some bags of accessories. Let me just um, show each one of those separately. Um, the first one is unlabeled, and um, it appears just to be a coax line, but again, I'm no expert, but um, that's what it looks like to me. So um, it does have some writing on the cable itself about microwaves and mil spec and stuff like that. So I assume this came with the unit. Um, I did a little bit of research on it, and it's supposed to come with four different cables. There's actually six here, but um, this is the only cable that appears to have been used. Um, it's not coiled back in the bag very well, and um, I don't know if you can see on the video, but it is not, this um, clip right here is, has got some dirt on it. Um, where it appears to have been used. And then this clip, this silver clip, has a bit of dirt there and what appears to be a little bit of surface corrosion on the top of it. Uh, I don't think that'll affect it, but if you're an ABI's guy, you know better than I do. Okay, the next one is unit number, <laughs> um, number, upside down number. Uh, 
5506013. So the last number is 13. This one does not appear to have been used at all. Um, there's no sign of dirt on it. And as you can tell, it's coiled like a factory would do it, not like a hurried mechanic would do it. Um, the next one is uh, labeled uh, with the same numbers, but a 14. And again, um, a nice uh, clean appearance to it. I don't see any dirt or uh, signs of use. Again, the cable is um, labeled, but my old eyes can't read it. Uh, okay, uh, the next one's number 15. This label cable is labeled. Um, I do it right side up, get it upside down every time. Um, 550605-15. And so we've got um, 13, 14, this is 15. And um, this one looks kind of like a, another coax cable to me, but um, it must do something special. Uh, there's writing on the um, cabling itself that um, seems to look like it's some kind of military thing. Again, microwave systems and mill spec numbers and stuff that makes it look like somebody paid, some government paid a lot of money. This, I think, is the ground cable. Um, it's labeled 16. The cable itself is not labeled, but again, it's in the package in such a way that it looks like um, the way the factory would do it. This one uh, has no, again, no sign that it's ever really been out of the bag. Um, the cable is, and the clip are all very clean. And um, anyway, so that's all the accessories. So let me just put those back in there and we'll go, we'll look at the control panel itself. Um, So, uh, again, the inside of the box, I don't know if you can see, but it's super clean. Uh, uh, just doesn't look like a, a tool that's been used to me anyway. Maybe that's important, maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe it's more important to be calibrated properly than unused. Okay, uh, so that takes us to the, the unit itself, or the, and it has some labels on it. Um, let me just lift it up, I guess, so that you can read those better. But um, there's one, and there's another one. The pin number, the serial number is J100. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it wasn't. It's kind of new off the line. Uh, made by JC Air. I think there are different companies that made these, but you'll know better than me. Um, again, uh, this unit has the appearance, at least to me, of uh, very, very little use. Um, the, uh, for example, all the, the, the um, plugs here do not have scratching or dirt on them or grease or anything that would tell me that, they're, um, that they've been used very much. Although maybe somebody who took very, very good care of their tools um, did that, I don't know. Um, each of the switches, um, works completely smoothly um, and uh, and is tight. There's no wiggle like it's been used a lot or something like that. And then the uh, selector switches are the same way. They're crisp and smooth and they feel clean. Um, the same goes for this selector switch. And so I think it's uh, probably in pretty good shape. Um, these two buttons, uh, I think they extend range and, I don't know, two terminal measurement. They um, are clear also. Um, these buttons um, here are just like the others, um, perfectly functional and crisp, tight, and smooth. Um, I did notice that when you do change this, uh, if you watch the digital gauge, it changes to something else. And um, this knob, this round knob, seems to move the, the readings around. I suppose that's to calibrate it. The same thing with, um, I think this button does the same thing, yes. And um, again, you can turn the knob to calibrate it. Uh, I guess to calibrate it. I, I don't wanna say something that's not true, so um, please take what I say with a grain of salt because I 
do not know what I'm talking about. Um, all I can tell you is about the, um, the feel it has to me, its cleanliness, and how, um, how uh, s smoothly this thing seems to work. It's got this little button right here, which attaches, seems to uh, be put, pressed by this, so that if you close the case with the, uh, with the unit and forget to turn it off, it will turn off the unit so that you don't run the batteries down. Okay, so let me turn it off. I will close it. We're offering this on eBay. It'd be nice if you bought it because she could certainly use the money. Um, I'm not gonna keep any of it. I'm doing this as a favor and I hope it works out. Thank you very much.